Think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me I'm sliding in the SRT but it feel like a ride And she calling my phone, I'm blowing up, she say I'm sorry I think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me I'm sliding in the all right, so you know me and Wills have a love-hate relationship, and the fours are gone. They were sold yesterday, and now I'm about to go and get my second set since I've lowered the truck. I kept those for maybe a couple days. Now we're about to go and get another set, and uh, these might be some keepers. I don't know, so I guess we'll see. I'm about to head to Trippies now, and uh, he's going to be taking me to get my sixes. So about to hop on the road and uh, pull up to his house. And then we're gonna take Trippy's truck to go and get him because I definitely ain't riding on them damn boo-boo ass wheels over there. But yeah, man, I guess we're gonna get on the road and uh, I guess we'll see what we get. A little update on Big Red. She got uh, sixes and 305s. I'm probably gonna downsize and end up doing a 295 in the front and a 305 in the rear. Uh, still debating, I might do 295s all the way around. Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to see. But I love it on these sixes, man. Even though I can't really turn worth a shit. And I'm scrubbing like fuck. But it'll be alright. We're going we're gonna to fix that. And uh, as far as the back, man, I ain't got no issues back here. Uh, I'm definitely probably going to have to roll that little shit right there. But I can knock that out pretty easy. But yeah, this is how she's going to be looking for a little while. And uh, I do plan on going lower with her in the back. I really want to go to like eight or nine, but I know I'm gonna have to get a fucking two piece drive shaft. So honestly, I'm gonna wait on that. Um, Cause I do got these two inch drop shackles, but I don't want to fuck my drive shaft up that I got in there now. So I think we're just gonna wait on that and uh, just do it, you know, sometime soon. I don't know, just depends. But uh, yeah, man, a lot of plans coming for uh, Big Red. I plan on putting a cam in her. Um, doing some tubs i'm gonna get a two-piece drive shaft and then uh shit i'm gonna do probably some stars in the ceiling interior lights probably like some wheel lights or something like that um you know just a little something to make it special for me because uh it's the first time doing some lower shit so i want to really go all out with this thing and make it kind of how my truck was lifted before but lower and uh, i think i'm gonna like it because i really fuck with it now and uh, I wish I would have went with it sooner, to be honest. All right, so we're picking up with the Sierra build. This will be after the last video. Uh, got the front end up in the air. Well, got the truck up in the air already. Got it on jack stands. Now this is the new suspension that fucking Chevy decided was a good idea. So it's basically a Ford fucking suspension if you look at it. If you look at any of the older model uh, F-150s, they have the exact fucking same suspension. Got the cam bolts on the bottom, and uh, diff even looks fucking same. On the older models, you see that there's, uh, what, like five or six fucking diff bolts, and on there, you got to pop them out, so. I don't know what the fuck Chevy was thinking, but, you know, whatever. I'm not Chevy engineer. But, this is all that comes with the kit. Got everything out the boxes, because it's just, it was just bulky and shit. Didn't want it taking up no space. It's basically like putting on a fucking Ford lift kit. Um, it just on the Chevy, or GMC, but. Yeah, about to go ahead and uh, get started with the teardown. Uh, the goal for tonight is to basically get this whole front end torn apart, get the diff dropped, get the diff drop brackets put in, uh, cross members, lowers, and pretty much have this shit almost done for tomorrow. So that way tomorrow I can finish up the front end, do the rear blocks, and then just make sure that everything else is squared away. We shouldn't have any problems, like I said, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started, so. Let's dive into it. All right, so we got some parts laid out everywhere, uh, but got the front end taken apart with these uh, new, new, new bodies. Uh, like I said, they got diffs kind of like Ford uh, where it kind of butts up against that fucking rack and pinion. Honestly, I don't like this design. It's pretty fucking stupid because most times I have to uh, drop the rack and pinion on one side because there's always a little bolt that you can't get to. It's not on this side, but on this side you have this bolt up here and uh you really can't get to it but there's like a little plastic piece up there that you can push up and pull it out because the bolt is like 
like probably 12 inches fucking long so yeah but got the uh whole front end suspension taken down uh got the little cross member in between the rear uh cross member mounts taken out and the uh rear diff mount got that taken out as well uh so this is all the bolts all the shit that you're gonna need to take out i end up keeping the sway bar link on the uh sway bar itself um just for a drop and uh just like i do with fords i think i'm gonna do this differential kind of the same way just to uh make it a little easier on myself um so what i usually do is i'll drop the diff uh slowly on the jacks until i can get the actual diff brackets up there and then uh once i get the diff bracket up i put the bolt and the nut in tighten it up get the diff put on it on one side then i'll move the jack from this side go to the other side and put it to where i need it uh, put the diff bracket up same way and then uh, it makes it a lot easier that way you don't have to take it all the way out I'm gonna get up pretty early in the morning and uh, knock it out try to get uh, A lot more done probably hopefully can move on to the back and do the blocks, but uh, yeah, man, we're just moving along so Kind of like these body styles. I don't know why but I just don't like the fucking suspension. It's fucking just stupid All right, so I want to show you all real quick while I'm dropping this diff as you see I got it just slightly lowered. I didn't uh, take the actual uh, drive shaft out of it. I just put it on a jack stand so that way it doesn't have a bad angle. Uh, as you see, I got the one driver side bracket in and I got the hole lined up, uh, up top and the bottom. Uh, I just wanted to pick up the camera so that way y'all can kind of see it. Uh, this is the easy way to do Fords or do uh, the new body um, Chevys and uh, GMCs because they all got kind of the same uh, diff design and everything. Just wanted to show you all that, like I said, and uh, I guess we'll get back to work, put these brackets in, and then see how far we can get after that. It's pretty late. I'll probably only stay out here for, uh, I'll probably only stay out here for another hour. All right, so like I said, uh, this is pretty much mounted. Just gotta tighten everything up, but this is kind of how it's supposed to look. We gotta straighten out that bracket. Uh, it'll straighten out once I pull that jack stand out, but uh as you can see a little bit on the other side that's how the other diffs uh bracket's supposed to be it's kind of angled up so this is how it's gonna be looking like i said i haven't tightened anything up but yeah this is the weird shit that they got going on with these kits but uh other than that man everything else is solid so i can pull these jacks out from underneath once i get these hand tightened and then uh just eventually get them all tightened up, but uh, before I tighten them up, I gotta make sure I can get that rear bracket in first because uh, that'll pretty much secure the diff 100%. These will kind of swing a little bit, um, but other than that, man, it's pretty much done. All right, a couple days later, we uh, finally got the problem solved. So this cross member here is for a 14 to 18 Sierra, I guess whenever they were in process of shipping everything. This box had the same part number as these cross members, but a uh, good thing is we got the problem solved. Like I said, Rough Country overnighted these. These are the correct cross members. You can tell it's a lot different of a design. It actually has the holes on the back for that uh, diff mount. So now we can pretty much scrap these, get these fuck out the way, um, because these definitely were not gonna fucking work in the first place. but. Kind of glad that I got that situated for them. Right now I'm about to go ahead and put the cross members in, tighten up all the diff shit, and then uh, go ahead and just start working my way out. And then uh, we'll just see how far we can get. And then tomorrow I plan on working on it for a little bit and then finishing it up Monday to be delivered. So hopefully I can get it done sooner. I don't know, it just depends on how much I can get done right now. So I guess we'll go ahead and get to work and then uh, see how far we can get with that. All right, so we got the spindles put together, got the struts put together, uh, got the lowers in, everything up here is tightened up besides the cross members itself. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to put the uh, control arms in and everything before I tighten everything up. And then uh, of course I'm gonna leave the lower cam bolts loose until I can get it uh, kind of aligned. So that way I can pull the camera in and out. But uh, other than that, man, the diff's tight. This is how it's supposed to be sitting. It's got plenty of clearance on the inside, so. We're all good to go on that aspect. The cross members fucking fit. So we're all good to go there. So no problems with that. So now I guess uh, I tighten up the sway bar link uh, drop brackets or the sway bar drop brackets. And um, yeah, everything pretty much in there is good to go. 
I got the actual vent tube in there that came with the kit. Uh, and I just plugged in all the harnesses back into the uh, rack and pinion. I put the uh, diff actuator harness back together. And then, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it for right now. Got to get the camera straight because it's kind of out a little bit. But other than that, we got both sides pretty much even. Like I said, just harnesses and then uh, sway bar link. Almost there. So the front is, I'd say the front's about 90% done. Uh, all I got to do is do some little touch-up shit, tighten up everything, torque it. And then uh, I'll be able to put her on the ground, put the little skid plate stuff on, and then move on to the rear. And then uh, all I got to do with that is throw the blocks in, put the shocks in, and then we're good to go. I think I'm going to call it a night, clean up everything a little bit, and then uh, just get situated and come back out here early in the morning, knock out what I can, hopefully get it finished, and then we'll just uh, put it on the ground and move on. All right, so next morning here, we got some daylight. Uh, going to go ahead and get this up and finished. So... All I got to do is put the little uh, harnesses together, uh, just do a last minute alignment, tighten it up, and then we'll be moving on to the rear, getting that done. Uh, but I'll have to put the skid plates on first. So I guess we'll go ahead and get to work and uh, get this front end finished, get it set on the ground, and then I'll show y'all kind of how it looks on the ground. All right, so we got the front on the ground and uh, looking at some minor issues. Looks like the tie rod is kind of close to the inside of the wheel but it's not touching uh it's like that on both sides these are 22s so i don't understand why it's coming close but i guess with these you got to have a particular back spacing i'm not sure i'll have to read up on the manual just to double check but uh yeah we got the front done everything's settled uh, i'm just going to double back and uh torque everything then i'll go ahead and get started on the rear all right, so we got it all done. It's all complete. I do have to put spacers on it, so uh, I'm about to let them know that. It's definitely rubbing on the tie rod in the front with these 22s, but uh, hopefully this two-inch spacer will get it off of there, and then uh, I can give him the rear ones too if he wants them, and uh, that way he'll have no rubbing issues, but it looks good so far. Like I said, it looks pretty tall to be a six-inch lift, but I guess it's just the way the body styles are made, but everything is looking good everything checked out nice uh everything's settled i got the rear lift put in and everything so it's all good to go as well so yeah man just moving but uh about to go ahead and go grab all the stuff that i need to do to get this out of here today and then uh i guess we'll just move on whenever i get everything else complete so let's get it all right so we're picking back up on the vlog it's a new week uh Shop been kind of going pretty slow because people been bullshitting, but I get a lot of people who hit me up, want to get prices and shit, and don't be having parts available, or they want to set a date of when they think they're going to get shit in. Don't hit me up unless you got parts in hand, ready, and you're ready to fucking get to work within the next week, because it's a lot of wasting time whenever you sit here and you try to say, yo, I want to do it this day, and then that day comes, your ass don't ever respond, or I give you a price, and then you just act like it's too high. I don't give a fuck. I have a lot of time and a lot of money invested into this business and i'm not gonna fucking lose my head because y'all want me to look out for y'all like nah this is still a business at the end of the day you don't ask a fucking other shop for a discount you don't ask everybody else for discount don't ask me for no damn discount today we got a tahoe in um i'm gonna be using some of my parts to put a little bit of leveling kit together so he's trying to fit some i believe they're 20s and 35s i have these stock springs from trippy uh, I might throw those into his truck to see how it looks. But if I put the leveling kit on the front and put the stock coil in the back, it shouldn't look bad because there's only really a half inch of difference between the front and the back right now. And it has a drop spring in the back. So putting the stock spring back in and the leveling kit should level it back out. So yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna be doing. And uh, I'm gonna try to go ahead and test fit his wheels. Hopefully I'll have this shit done by the end of the night. I'm not really gonna have too much time wrapped up in it. And then uh, we got some supposed customers coming in for the weekend. So we're going to see if we get anything else. If not, uh, you know, we're going to roll over to the next week. Keep pushing. But uh, yeah, man, I'm about to get started, start tearing this bitch apart. And uh, I guess we'll pick up the camera whenever we get some progress going. All right. So moving on, we got both sides torn down. I got the other side done. Uh, this is kind of really all you got to do. I'm just putting the leveling kit on top of the strut already had uh this side pretty much ready to go so got this side complete 
And uh, all I gotta do is tighten up the sway bar link and then uh, the axle nut and then I'll be good to go on this side. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop the rear. Uh, go ahead and put it on jack stands, take the wheels off and put the stock spring back in it, take them damn drop springs out. Once I get it up and uh, pretty much level, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels on and uh, just see how they fit. And then uh, we'll see if we keep them on or not. But uh, either way, it'll be lifted about uh, three inches in the front and it'll be back at stock height in the back. So it'll pretty much be even. All right, so I got the rear wheel on and uh, looks like uh should have some space. He's got some good back spacing on this, so won't need no spacers. Uh, he's got like a little half inch spacer I put on all the way around, so that should help it out. I did get the stock spring put in here. This is out of uh, Trippy's truck, and uh, yeah, it's just it's sitting back up right. He had these uh, lower shock extenders which are right there, and then uh, here are the springs. So I believe these are like a two inch drop spring, and uh, yeah, that wasn't gonna work, not with the 20s and 35s so we got them right hopefully uh looks like it'll sit level um it's got about the same fender gap but i'll see once i get it on the ground and uh it's got some weight to it but honestly i feel like this is going to be perfect and uh he'll be able to drive out of here without any scrubbing issues and uh it should be exactly how he likes it so that's the only goal for now but uh yeah i was gonna stop and not finish the back and do it in the morning but Said fuck it, man. It won't take me more than a couple minutes. I'm um, doing the back of these Tahoes and Yukons and shit. It's pretty simple, even though sometimes you gotta deal with that Magna Ride bullshit. But it's not really a big deal. Get it knocked out. But I'm about to go ahead and put this other wheel on, and then uh, I'll set it on the ground, show y'all how it looks before I go in the house. And then in the morning, uh, we'll pull her out the shop, get her aligned perfectly, and then uh, she'll be done. And I'm pretty sure that'll be the end of this video. Um, Y'all gonna get the white Sierra that I was doing last week. And this week you'll get this truck. Um, but like I said, until I get customers rolling in and shit, I'm really not gonna be doing too much um, with the YouTube stuff. Cause uh, like I said, man, I got motherfuckers that's hitting me up and then they be bullshitting. Like, bro, I don't, I don't understand it. All right, so she's all done. We got the three inch level installed in the front and I uh, got the alignment kind of straight. Um, I'm gonna see if it rubs tomorrow. My prediction is it might rub a little bit on the inside, but it ain't gonna be as bad as it was when he was stopped. But like I said, we'll see how that goes tomorrow. As far as the rear, shouldn't be any rubbing at all. Um, everything seems kind of clear out the way. So we're good to go on that and uh, put the center caps on, torque the uh, lug nuts. So everything is ready to go. I'm gonna just get the alignment a little bit more straight once I drive it out, drive it back in and uh, let everything settle into place. But uh, other than that, man, we got another one done. So I guess we'll fast forward to the morning and see what this bitch look like in the sunlight. All right, it is the next day and uh, we got some sunlight outside. So about to pull her out and uh, make sure she doesn't screw up. But like I said, I don't really think there's gonna be an issue the only issue I might see is the back here, but I don't think it'll be too bad now that he's got this leveling kit on here because I think he had him on here without anything on it the way it was before, and he was scrubbing like a bitch. But yeah, I'm about to pull this thing out and uh, see what it looks like outside, drive it around the yard, make sure everything sets in place. I done once over everything, tightened up everything. Uh, just make sure everything settles in place, look over it one more time, and then uh, I'll pull it out, park it, and get it ready for him to pick up, and then... Yeah, man, that's it. Everything's been slow. The only thing about this business, man, is don't expect this shit to be every week unless you're like a full-scale commercial shop or some shit like that. If you're really looking into opening your own shop, expect to have weeks to where you're not going to have any work or people are waiting on parts, people are waiting on, you know, money, people are waiting on this, that, other. So you can't really set yourself up for failure. Always keep some reserve. Uh, if you do plan on getting into this business, just keep an open head. Just know that it's not really consistent when you own your own business. You gotta make it consistent. That's why it's important to have good clientele, people that'll bring you people. Uh, that's why you always gotta do good work because if you do good work, people gonna recommend people to you. I've, I don't know how many times, like half of my work comes off of Instagram, but the other half comes off of word of mouth. Like real talk, people call me, like I don't know, it's just crazy. But that's what happens when you do good work, man. So, 
Let's pull her out. See what she look like.